and welcome to the show. Uh, we are falling off of the map. Yeah, things have not gone amazingly well for us. We are here today on GTA 5 uh, for a wonderful fail race tradition. Now, many of you watching may have seen the straight line race. It is very simple. You drive in a straight line. And that's all you have to do. The track is just straight. Uh, however, we often drive vehicles that have crazy powerful slipstream and have weird hitboxes. We have slipstream and catch up turned on and things get very silly very quickly. It is, you know, a firm favourite. This track is made by Pwn. It is based upon Stinty's original straight line. It has been tweaked, updated. And, well, we're going to go and see... Oh, well, there's already chaos. There's already... I don't know where Crane's going to go, and I'm now pointing the wrong way. Well, that's good. Uh, <laughs> it's gonna be chaos. Uh, so, for this to work, the vehicles... We have to pick certain... Or for it to be the most fun, we have to pick certain vehicles. So the vehicles that get really slowed down by catch-up, have really powerful slipstream, those are the vehicles you want for this. You want to be able to catch back up. You want as big a speed differential as possible between the leaders and cars with slipstream, essentially, to cause the most chaos. This is not a sensible race. Oh god, we don't need a brown pants section in straight line. I was trying to slow down so I could get through the gap and Crane have murdered us completely. Oh, and Crane has been rolled over and bullied in that section. I was trying to get ready to go through. Yeah, so a brown pants, it's not like a completely one car wide section, but it's enough to cause problems when we're racing outlaws. In fact, we're racing anything, especially if you've got a wonky hitbox. No, Gliska, come back! You are, you've, you've gone far too far with that slipstream. I have none of it. God damn it. They've just, everyone's just slingshotted off of me, and no one is... Okay, well, boost pads will help a little bit here. Maybe. Or not help. We've got to try and dodge the wrecks. Dodge the wrecks. There's a car climbing the wall. Oh, Gliska went to set off. That was almost quite bad. Where is Danger Man going to go? I, I, I don't know. I didn't know. I was expecting Danger Man to go backwards or forwards. They didn't go either. And then when I tried to move, my wheels were actually in the air. Oh, no, not turbines. I hate turbines. I'm bad at turbines. Uh, go, 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 go. Uh, that one's going slowly. That might hit us. No, we're through. It's fine. All is good. Bowling ball's less of a problem. Turbine's a big problem. Uh, <laughs> we're fine. We're alive. We're following Chris. Where's this? Oh, the Supreme just didn't want to go for us there. Never mind. There we go. That's my mic. Uh, <laughs> it's definitely more chaotic than the original straight line by virtue of, well, there are now more dangers for us to have to deal with. There is, speaking of danger, there is a danger man has turned up. Uh, we're going to have, this looks like a big jump, which looks like we might be about to go to space! <laughs> We've overtaken everyone in the air. We might have jumped a bit too far, though, in that. We didn't really get, no real good landing, no good slipstream for a landing. Oh, go on, let's go, go on, give us some slipstream. That'll do very nicely. What is going on up ahead? I can just, do we have to, like, loop around like a donut at the end, maybe? You can see the power of slipstream, how quick we are catching. Oh! Uh, went wrong for Gliss. The bump draft, you can't really bump draft with these. What the hell is it at the finish? I'm worried what's at the finish line of this one. That just looks weird. Uh, Shadow, can I have some slipstream? Not quite. No, Shadow's got going again. Not enough slipstream to get any airtime over here, particularly. Uh, aerial overtakes, I mean, uh, are definitely achievable on this course. Oh, God, lots of speed there. Uh, we're going to be the leader. Uh, are there missile pods here like there are in the... Oh, God, in, actually, in the normal straight line. There's something. Are they exploding? Barrels! Oh, no one exploded. Barrels went pop. No one exploded. Uh, we are... Uh, well, that's one way to go in terms of a turnaround. This might be about the smoothest transition I've ever done! Hey! <laughs> that was amazing! I will never be able to do that again. <laughs> that was fantastic. Shadow's exploded, Amy's exploded, and Danger Man's exploded. And we went up, twisted around, managed to land back, pointing the right way on the wheels. That's, that's, I'm done for the ever, I think. I don't think I'm going to be able to do a smoother, smoother antics than that. My god, with the catch-up on, this is so slow. <laughs> this is why we picked this vehicle. This is full throttle, by the way. This is it. This is all the outlaw has got as the leader when you were being slowed down by catch-up. It is horrific. Oh, I was gonna, I was gonna too. Let me and level eight have the same idea. And the problem is, both basically now just stopped. We were trying to leapfrog each other with slipstream, and it didn't work. We both just slowed down way too much. All right, level eight. I'm gonna lift off because I want you to come past, and then we want to get. Yeah, there we go. That's that's it. That's it. We're getting the hang of this now. 
you don't want to go too far forward. You want to go just far enough that they get as big of a slingshot as they can. Uh, now And now all of that teamwork is going to change as Brazen Level 8 and Stevie have turned up. Uh, and and Crane. Uh, oh, side level 8. Uh, we will. Oh, there's a sign there. There's a, I don't know what the sign says. Did not see a second of it. Uh, there are some more vehicles now catching as well. It's a, probably going to get manic at some point down here. Probably around about the wind turbine or over one of these jumps. If someone has a huge run. Oh, Stevie went across to get slipstream and I had no... I, I just couldn't avoid that one in time. That's frustrating. Because uh, you're committed. And because this vehicle, it doesn't really turn great when it's in the slipstream. It, it's not got the, the best... Oh, someone just got denied from going through the turbine there. Uh, a lot of vehicles have been denied going through here. The bowling balls just spin you is the problem. Unbalanced precariously on the side there. So yeah, you, you, you go in there at full pelt. And then the bowling balls just spin you around. Uh, we will slipstream our way. Now, Ewan, let's work together. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, we will try. And it's not necessarily going to be perfect, but we are going to give it a damn good try. Catch up to the vehicles ahead. Please don't bump into the back of us, Ewan. Uh, it's difficult to make the most of slipstream when you're on boost pads here. So we've got the brown pants section to come next. I'm going to lift, let Ewan go. We'll fall into line. And again, we're back to doing teamwork. Shadow and Impega are coming to join. That might make our life a little bit easier, because if we can get in the slipstream with Impega, Ewan might have to sit and wait, and they do, sensibly, from Ewan. Oh, we've got it all back off there. Ewan found a gap. Great piece of driving from Ewan there to make that one work. Uh, we were all kind of checking up because we were a little bit stuck. Chris moved out to get slipstream off of Impega, which did work. Chris has now gone at a million miles an hour forward. Uh, now it's our turn to go at a million mile an hour forward, but I think we've gone too soon here. Level 8 has turned up and spun. Spun clear of us. We're trying to get some slipstream off Impega. The leader's going to die. They're going to stall out. They're going to have no speed, but they might be far enough away, and we're going to slip to fourth at the end. Damn it. Uh, <laughs> good race. Enjoyable race. A very silly race. Was a good race. However... They were just a little... Yeah, we just didn't quite get the timing right. However, I say that, Ninetales got the timing perfect. They were just far enough away that our big gaggle of cars couldn't do it. Ninetales takes victory. It is Chris in second out of Stevie. We are just outside the podium in fourth. And Pega is fifth. Then a brazen you and Shadow, level eight, and Danger Man would round out the top ten. Bumpy has had a not-so-good time, <laughs> by the looks of things. We might have only got fourth. However, the loopy, twisty turnaround at the end was fantastic. So I am very happy with that. For our second round, we have got the EGT. Now, it is probably a little bit faster than the Outlaw, but it's got many hitbox problems, and it's a two-lap race. So it's a little bit longer race for this. Oh, we will get some help from Liam. Oh, there's a bit too much help from everybody. It's a lot of help. It's a lot of things have happened immediately that have not been good for any of us. I mean, they've been good for a Brazen, I think. Brazen, <laughs> Brazen survived. We did not. We, we did not have a... We did not have a survive through all of that. But we've, <laughs> the fact that all that happened and we only ended up eighth suggests things went equally badly and they are continuing to go badly. For the cars behind. Liam, we shall work together. Liam somehow still got a working spoiler. No, no, that will not do. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. That's a horrible place to be blocked, to be stuck, and to be crashed, but somehow, well, it's not worked behind. <laughs> Brazen has has got away with that. Ewan and Gliska essentially kind of pushed Brazen going, and then more cars further back just piled on in, and it went wrong. I mean, we are, might be about to go to space. I'm kind of all for this, trying this. Just can we get uh, a slipstream? Oh, never mind. Impega has done the flight. Oh, dear. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> it's just like there was the inevitable. Oh, the turbines have murdered some cars. There was just the acceptance of... I, I thought there was a gap. We were kind of going through a gap, and it almost worked. And then it very much stopped working. And, oh, level eight. It's trying to get going, and that was an awkward place to deal with. Thankfully, we will be fine. Well, let's find... Yeah, so there, there was... There, ooh, what is going on with Impega's car? Why are you ghosty, ghosty mode? Maybe a controller turned off? 
Does that do that? Don't know. That's weird. Uh, but yeah, there was a gap in the air that we were kind of aiming for, and it almost worked. However, once the car started twisting that low to the ground, there's very little that I can do. Uh, what has gone on up ahead with the pink car? I don't know if that's bumpy or... ...and we've all slowed down. But, yeah, at that point, I, I was struggling. I wasn't getting the car under control, basically. And then we hit a bowling ball. So any chance I had of getting the car under control just wasn't going to happen. Uh, so, yeah, it exploded, basically. Uh, we're, we're in eighth. There's, we're in quite a bit of no man's land, actually. It's as is Danger Man in front. So there's a big group of cars at the front. Lado, Ninetales, Brazen, Amy, Liam. And then there's a little gap back to Aaron and Danger Man. Hopefully, me and Gliska can now start working together and catch up to those vehicles ahead. Uh, we're not going to be in the danger zone for the exploding barrels. Not that they seem to really do all that much. Can I do the same amazing twist that we did last time? I'm going to guess probably not. I'm going to try something. We're going to try something different, all right? Oh, no. You need to break way more than that. Uh, oh, well, again, any chance I had of doing the amazing landing. Where the hell am I? Uh, oh, that's where I landed. Whoop. And... Bump. <laughs> yeah. Any chance that the amazing landing was quickly ruined when we got hit twice in the air. Bumpy, how have you ended up there? I feel like that's not the first time I've said that in this video. That's <laughs> probably not... Just, every so often. Oh! Ah, uh, yeah. Impega is recovering from... I think a weird controller moment. Someone has a huge lead. It's Amy. Oh, many speeds! <laughs> <laughs> just, yep, well, that's fine. All is okay. That's perfectly normal. Uh, I wasn't expecting that to be as... I wasn't really expecting that to be a jump. But, yeah, the speed we were carrying with this... I think, I guess... Oh, no, we tried to... There was kind of a half gap on the outside there. Amy's about to uh, get caught up very quickly by a lot of cars. Uh, I was not going to have... There was not really the space for me to put my car... Whoop. And... Oh, crash for one of the red cars. Oh, that was Chris. It was Chris. It was Chris is in a, in a weird car. Oh, no, wait. That was Ninetales. Chris is in Ninetales. Oh, there's been some colour selection <laughs> shenanigans. So I'm so used to... Oh, Shadow and Bumpy have exploded. I'm so used to when commentating people's car colour, because the nameplates don't always load, so you just go on car colours. When people pick the wrong colours, it does get confusing sometimes. It's very difficult when they all decided to drive orange a while back. Well done, anyone who remembers that video. Uh, <laughs> let's go, let's go. That was just an unfortunate... Yeah, that was just an unfortunate moment, although maybe it's better to be at the back coming down... No, probably not. Uh, just speed and hope. Speed and hope. Speed and hope is the way to go. Somehow I've not been hit by a turbine, and I am traditionally terrible at dealing with turbines, so I will take that as a victory. Okay, well, boost pads and crashing cars in front. Uh, they've actually mostly sorted themselves out, which is pretty good going. We will now turn up at about Mach 5. Oh, no, I have to go on the brakes because they're crashing, so I can't go at that full slipstream pace. Go on, Crane, let's go. Ooh. Well, we'll climb a little bit, and now Danger Man's turn to push Crane. Oh, brown pants moment. Oh. Yeah, brown pants moment has gone badly for me. We have landed. Oh, Aaron through the middle. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Aaron picked the gap. The only one that managed to pick the gap there. Uh, oh, Liam's gone that way. Did not. I was moving. Uh, that was slightly. That was slightly my fault. Um, I was moving over to get the slipstream. I just didn't realise there was another car following behind. I should have checked. The difficulty is, of course, that you are... Everyone, everything's going so fast. Everything happens so fast. You just instinct, you're instinctively moving at some of these. And, yeah, I should, you should, should have checked behind. I think it is something you've got to be a little bit wary of at times as the... When you're in that scenario, when you're the car... When you're following a car through like that, it is always likely that the... A uh, car that's just got slipstream past is going to move across. Um, but you also can't, you know, knock to go for a gap uh, sometimes. As I've said a, a hundred times before, GTA, oh, I was, I was expecting that to reverse because I didn't think it was going to have the turning circle to go forward. Um, GTA with just a small rear view mirror at the top would be amazing. I don't know, it, it should be a feature, especially for races. You, it should be a feature you can turn on and off. There's no reason why it, sh why it shouldn't have that 
at the end of the day. Proximity arrows I get, I get probably not being on the game, but a rearview mirror would be- Ah, oh, for God's sake! There was like a 50-50 chance of going through that gap. Crane somehow messed it up and then completely ruined. We were set up so well for that. We would have been absolutely fine. And then we got screwed. <laughs> this is gone. This lap has all this 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 run, I guess kind of half a lap ish. So badly for me. It's just not gone well at all. We are 14th place. I mean it can go worse, but let's not tempt fate. Uh, Gliska's had a tumble. I mean, there is, of course, being straight line, there is always plenty of chance to catch up. Oh, for... I thought we were going to get across in front of it. I had to say something about the bloody turbines, didn't I? Uh, I hate turbines. Oh. And Pega's caught up and their bloody controller turned off for a while. No, we're going to get turbined again. No, we just made it through. Bloody hell. Uh, I had to say something. I had to say something. It was, again, there was like that small glimmer of hope. And then it was just taken away. I don't even know if I could have got the car stopped in time to go behind that turbine if I had known that we were right on course to hit it. Uh, maybe. Although we'd have to go quite fast to get through the first one. Uh, come on, don't tell me we're just out of range of Bumpy. Uh, no, I don't think so. Because the, the way we just got pulled forward. We didn't really leave any like slipstream trails, but we were certainly getting uh, fired forward quite well. We Come on then, let's go. Let's see. I mean, if we can, if we can work in front of Bumpy's car as a wreck. If we can work with Bumpy, that would be great. But I think Bumpy might be about to leapfrog and then get in Pega. Uh, uh, they've kind of stalled out a little bit, but no, they're gonna. No, no maybe uh, might not leave me for dead completely. We'll have to wait and see. We've got twisted in the air. That's not gonna help. Oh, this is really. This is just being one of those frustrating straight line races where we're just out of range of opportunity, so to speak. Uh, there's been a hell of a kerfuffle coming down the hill. Uh, we are about to turn up. It's Liam and Danger Man, I think, right there. Can we do like a flat spin? Nope, that has not worked how I wanted it to. However, <laughs> it's not worked at all how I intended that to. Why are you going over there, Danger Man? Uh, but it actually worked out quite well for us somehow. And I don't quite know how that worked out well for us, uh, but it did. So I will take it, at least. Uh, oh, That's probably more airtime than I wanted. Danger Man, please don't explode. Okay, no, that's, that's fine. It slowed us down a smidge, however. Not, it, there wasn't an explosion. It wasn't complete death. Uh, we are just going to have... We had a little lift to get the big slipstream run there to catapult ourselves forward. See, we made a huge amount of time on that, ch that turnaround somehow, uh, which I wasn't expecting to be able to do. We have leapfrogged away from Lado. I was hoping we could catch Ewan. Uh, well, Ewan doing that is going to help me, because it was a slightly shonky landing from the gold car, and that will put us into range, and we will go after a brazen. I think this is a slightly shorter straight, actually straight line route than the original. Uh, I don't think it's, it's quite the same distance, which is... Oh, we've got more obstacles, though, to deal with, of course. Ewan's had a silly accident on their own. Oh, that's a bad one. I mean, we've just got to go for it and hope, and we murdered Lado. Yeah, you go so fast down there. If typical. I had to say something, didn't I, on the whole... We've been lucky getting through turbines, and we had been. We had to go for it, really, because... I think if we hadn't... Even if we'd got it perfect, I think we would have lost a bunch of time to the cars ahead. You just kind of go flat, hope for the best. Oh, no. Okay. Do we have time for our little group to catch up to the leaders? It's basically going to be a three-car group that's going to have to work here. It's not very far to go. Unless there's a big wreck up ahead, I don't think we're going to do it. No, I don't think we're going to be able to. Oh, never mind. I take it back. There is a big wreck up ahead. Ugh. Uh, Crane, stop making a nuisance of yourself in the n every time. <laughs> it's just every time. It's bloody Crane. <laughs> oh, can we leapfrog towards the red car? Not quite. Stevie's going to get a draft on us, although that could help us here. And the leaders are going slow. It's just we're not close enough. I think they're going to be far enough away. Why is there a bump there? I don't quite know. 
It's going to be Lado that gets victory. I don't know whether Lado turned Ninetales for the win or... No, Ninetales was battling with Chris, I think, up ahead. Or maybe, I don't know, I've lost track of who was where in all of that. But it does look like we might have had a Lado victory through all of that. Uh, it was a Lado at the front who took victory. Ninetales literally spin across the line, but I don't think I don't think got close enough to Lado. Didn't see. Uh, Brazen will be third ahead of Chris. We end up fifth, which considering how badly this race went for us, I'm actually relatively happy with. <laughs> Steely is sixth ahead of Crane, who kept blocking us in the narrow pit. Damn it, Crane. Oh, then I didn't read the rest of them. There you go. That is a new straight line. It's pretty... I mean, it's it's the essence of straight line with just uh, a little pwn twist on top of it, basically. In that we have to deal with turbines occasionally jumping in an interesting turnaround point. Well done, Lado, for getting victory in all of that. But, uh... There we go. That is going to be it for this video. Thank you all very much to, for watching. Thank you, of course, goes to Pwn uh, for building this wacky circuit. Shall be it from me, though. Until next time... Hey, uh, goodbye.